Right now in a rainfall almanac, look at all the rain that we have seen. Yesterday in Corpus Christi, we picked up a quarter of an inch. Actually, surprisingly, Corpus Christi has missed a lot of the rain, especially at the airport. We've kind of been uh, dodging the rain at our official rain gauge. So July is actually below normal in Corpus Christi. We haven't even reached an inch of rainfall. We have a chance to catch up the rest of this week, but it is still spotty hit and miss. So there's no guarantee that we'll get rain exactly on the spot that we need it for it to count on our almanac or you need it to count in your yard. For 2024, we are up to 14.88 inches, but we are below the average, which is 16.04 for this time of year. Now in our watershed, we've actually done pretty well with this latest rain event. This area dealing with the highest level of drought has seen the highest rainfall from this latest rain event. So we're seeing three, four areas of five inches of rainfall that fell in our northern, both Choke Canyon and Lake Corpus Christi watersheds. Choke Canyon's current level is at 21.1%. Lake Corpus Christi currently at 40.5%. So combined, we're at 26.5, but over the last week, that's gone up. 0.4% in the last month we've gone up 0.8. So we'll continue to keep an eye on these watershed totals as this rain, a lot of it likely was soaked up by the ground because it is so dry in that part of Texas. However, some of it will make it into the watershed. And that, that heavy rainfall right in the northern watershed was because this stationary front was set up a little further to the north yesterday. It slid a little bit more south. We're getting some rain more in the central watershed right now. And we're also seeing a bit of a tropical energy moving north along the coast, which is bringing some rain now into southern Kennedy County. So we'll keep an eye on that. Coastal areas expecting the, the biggest impact through this morning. So day to day rain still is what we're alerting you for Wednesday through Saturday. So we still have several more days of this unsettled pattern with heavy rain at times. So just keep the rain gear in your car. Drive safely. Be prepared to take it slow. Turn the windshield wipers on. Have some good windshield wiper blades on your car as well because we're still tracking rain about 60 to 70 percent through the next four days. Then our rain chances drop pretty dramatically though as we head into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So here's why right now we've got all of that tropical moisture coming up. High pressure to the north merging with the high pressure to our east and where that's happening. That's where that stationary front is setting up. But essentially what's going to happen is this high pressure is going to continue to push a little bit more to the west. And as it does so, we're going to get to this building high pressure ridge that's going to set up into next week. We say goodbye to the green, goodbye to the moisture, and hello to some drier air, but also hotter air. High temperatures are expected to be back in the mid 90s by Tuesday with heat index values around 111. But for now, we are still hanging out in the upper 80s with the rain in the region. High today or high temperatures today will be in the upper 80s, 87 degrees around 3 p.m. This will be kind of dependent, though, on who sees the rain and who doesn't. So again, this morning, a lot of the rain staying right along the coast and as we head into the afternoon it's much more spotty inland and then into Thursday we pretty much repeat this we've got some deep tropical moisture coming up that may stay in the Gulf of Mexico early Thursday morning but more rain is expected Thursday evening in your seven day forecast Thunderstorm action continues. Some Saharan dust thickens a bit Thursday and Friday. We see a break in the Saharan dust and we'll see more of it Monday and Tuesday, especially as the skies clear out. You'll notice it more along the horizon. John Thomas. Carly, thank you.